morning guys i hope you guys are having a great time i hope you guys are crushing it in life today i'm gonna go visit a friend of mine doug um he owns doug's garage right here in houston texas and they work on some awesome land cruisers and other vehicles and we're gonna go take a look at some of the projects that he's working on he invited me this morning to go visit his shop and i'm so excited to go and see him if you guys roll back a few videos you're gonna see my trip from colorado in my g-wagon and Doug actually helped me out on that trip quite a bit, which is why I think it's awesome that he invited me to his garage to take a look at exactly what he's working on and what type of projects he's building. So I'm really excited to see what the shop looks like. It's been a while since I've visited him. He's usually pretty packed. Oh, here we are, let's take a look. Well, we're at the shop and as you can tell, this guy's definitely a Toyota specialist and a fan. Let's drive in. Looks like he's working on something. Just look at the amount of Toyotas he has. Look at that, there's like three right there. There's another three that he's working on. There's one that I can see right there. Oh, there's a couple on the lift as well. All right, let's park and see what he's got. Before we get talking to him, just before we enter, look, these are some of the cooler projects that he's working on. As you can tell, these are all lifted things. Look at the wheels this forerunner that's pretty sick that's really cool hey Doug what's going on man what's up? I'm how are you good having you here man man it's really nice it's really sick to look at all these projects I think they're really awesome so what are you working on we're working on a bunch of Toyotas so come on in let's yeah let's yeah let's go take a look So Doug, tell us what you got, man. That truck looks awesome. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so this is a third gen Tacoma that we're doing a uh, rear bumper install on. Okay. Um, after it's all said and done, it's gonna have a dual swing out on it uh, with the tire carrier on one side and then uh -huh. a jerry can holder on the other. Um, it's got slam shut latches, so everything's super simple to use. We built this truck for the customer uh, as kind of a hunting truck. So um, this rack on here is up top overland. Uh, it's completely flat, so he can store every, anything that he needs on there. Uh, we put lights all the way around, and these lights here are actually used so he can uh, um, do any dressing of any animals that he needs to after he's all done. Um, also, we have a deck bed system in here, so it's pretty much ready to go at any moment's notice. Wow, that's sweet. So what do you do with that? So this, you can uh, set everything on top. You can also open it up, and it's got you know, ratchet straps, boots, anything that he needs to kind of go on his adventures with. Wow, that's pretty cool. So he can support up to like a thousand pounds on top. Each one? Uh, no, Total? on top. So okay. any weight on top, you can... A thousand put. pounds. Wow. That's insane. And he has a fifth fifth tire? And... Yep. That's going to go on this way out whenever it's all done. So okay. And is that something that you guys like fabricate or is it something that comes ready and you just build? Yeah, so it basically just comes ready from Bay Area Metal Fab. And okay. it's, uh, we just install it, put everything together. Ben's putting all the swing out hardware together right now. And uh, so we install swing out together. It's ready. See that? Hey Ben, what's going on, man? How are you? Oh, that's going to look sick once it's done. Yeah. What else are you working on? Um, on this truck, we're doing a pretty big build on it. Also, kind of another rear bumper setup. This one, we did a lift on it. Uh, ABS, racing truck, uh, with remote reservoirs and uh, bump cans, Icon leaf packs, kind of the whole nine yards on this setup right oh, there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Those are the resis right there? Yep, exactly. This That's the bump adjusted. stop? That's the bump stop right here with the custom mount on it. And then this is the reservoir with the adjuster on it. So okay. I can kind of turn this. And, and that's for like uh, softness or stiffness? Yep. Okay. okay. I got you. Wow, that looks awesome. This is the front setup. So yep. the front is what, coilovers? Coilovers, yep, with a uh, JBA upper control line so we can get the alignment all proper and nice and drive it straight down the road. Okay, good, excellent. Wow, man, that's awesome. These trucks are fairly reliable from what I know. Absolutely. Off-road, right? Yeah. Absolutely. You can put a couple hundred thousand miles on them, no problem. Really no, no issues. Just regular maintenance on it, do the brakes and oil, and that's really it. And I'm assuming that's why you love Toyota so much? Absolutely. Right? That's why we all love Toyotas. Yeah, <laughs> we all love Toyotas? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. 
Is that a cool build we should look at? Yeah, so this is that 40 back here. That's pretty cool story. So, um, shout out to Cruiser Gear. Um, if you Basically, they held an event where uh, if you bought a t-shirt, then you would get a raffle ticket. Um, one of our customers actually bought a t-shirt for his wife and won this truck from Cruiser Gear. So, uh, But this truck is, uh, this is a clean truck. Really good shape. Wow. And he bought this, he got this, sorry, by buying a t-shirt. He got it by buying a t-shirt. He won a car by getting a t-shirt. For his wife. Super For cool. his wife. Well, yeah, they did a really good job on the restore. We're kind of finishing up some loose, uh, loose ends on it, but we're not having to do too much on it. Okay. What's this truck behind you? This thing looks like it's uh, almost ready for some, like some heavy duty action. Yeah, so this truck is a 74 FJ40. Uh, we're doing uh, rear diamond, front and rear diamond axles on it. Okay. The front's gonna get a coilover conversion set up on it uh, with kings all the way around. Wow. And it's gonna be basically a rock crawl. Yeah, so I know you love your so, kings. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> kings and 37s, Kings right? and 37s. Right. Uh, so th is this the original engine? This is not the original engine. This okay. is a Chevy 350. Yeah, that looked like a small block to yep. me. Yeah. Any upgrades on the engine? The manifolds uh, look factory. The carburetor looks factory. I think it's pretty okay. all pretty yeah, factory. Yeah, yeah. He, he does have the electric fans and the larger radiator, but yep. other than that, pretty factory. Exactly. I mean, I think for the purpose, suspension is way more important than, yep. you know. And I think he has way enough power with the 350 in there. Yep. Man, these are some insane builds like this one. I, I seriously wish that I bought the t-shirt and not whoever won it. But anyways, good luck to whoever got that. Uh, that's a fun little toy to, to have. Um, he's, got, he's got a couple of other Toyotas, as you can see. There's a lot of projects in the shop. He's got this one. This one, I actually have an interesting story. My uncle, who I used to ride with when I was a very little, actually owned a Toyota like this. And that thing, I think he drove it until he passed. Um, but that thing was solid reliable. And I'm assuming this thing is pretty reliable as well. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. All right, you ready to show us your truck? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right, man, so we're here, man. This thing is a beast. I absolutely love the design, love the colors. And 37s and kings, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right? <laughs> so we're All right, walk us through. Kind of quick walk around. Um, full front bumper with the width and, and kind of uh, everything set up that's needed on there. Um, it's got a uh, four inch slinky setup on it with king shocks on it. Rides absolutely beautiful. What does that mean? What's a slinky? So that slinky is the manufacturer of the okay. springs on the car. Okay. Um, we basically kind of spec everything out to have heavy in the rear and then kind of a lighter load in the front for, uh, for wide quality. Okay. And why heavier in the rear? Uh, I've got rear core system. You can kind of take a look at that. Rear bumper system with iron theory in it. Kind of a full nine yards on here. Oh, this thing already looks heavy. Yep. Integrated fridge, drawer system, kind of everything's ready to go in here. Yeah, I remember when we took our trip to Colorado, man, that fridge kind of saved our life a yeah, little bit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's all your recovery gear. You need it, man, because you're saving everybody else. Yeah. Yes. While we're all up there, uh, this vinyl, this this truck has been fully vinyl wrapped in a uh, Avery dark gray, and uh, Pixel Works did this awesome livery for us with uh, Dougie's Garage logo and everything on the side, with kind of a topography uh, map styling on it. So man, I, I love it. They they killed it on this job. <laughs> so this is a wrap. Yep, it's a wrap with vinyl. Uh, Logos yeah. And I can see that it's almost like the the trail, right? Yep, exactly. It's pretty cool. Tell us about the wheels. These look like racing wheels. They are racing <laughs> wheels. So uh, I picked these wheels because I came from the tuner crowd, and uh, I've always wanted TE 37s, uh, and I could never afford it back then. So I finally got myself a set. Uh, it's funny because you know these are racing wheels, and this is an off-road car, but hey. They fit and they work really well. So. And how are they holding up to any abuse? Or yeah, do you put them through any abuse? I haven't put them through any abuse uh, okay. since our Colorado trip. Right after, I, that's when I put them back on there. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I mean, they look awesome, man. It's a, definitely a Toyota thing, I think. Yeah. 
And also, let me pop the hood. Oh, you got something in there? What's under the hood? Uh, just a little small turbo. Oh, wow. So this truck from the factory doesn't have a ton of power. Um, from the factory, it's got probably two, 200 horsepower. That seems enough. So when this, uh, this turbo setup from Wits End um, really kind of wakes this truck up in the mountains and kind of driving it on the freeway, especially in long distances, it, it helps out tremendously. Yeah. Would you say it helped out with the 37s as well? Absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah that, thing's, uh, that thing's not a small turbo, man. What, what's the size on this? I think it's a 66 millimeter turbo. It's a good enough size. This size is pretty, pretty big for the kind of the setup on it. Right. That's what, an additional 80 horsepower, I would think, at yeah. least? Yeah, I think the diode hill is like 250 to the wheels. That's that's easy, easy power yeah, that's an easy 80 HP, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that's a sick truck, man. Tell us a little bit about the winch, man. Do you end up using it? Um, man, honestly, you know, the winch is one of those things where you're happy to have it whenever you need it, but it, you know, I don't use it too often. So you basically, you never need it. Yeah. Because of yeah. the 37s and Kings. You know, I use it more to pull dead cars in and out of the parking lot into the shop than more than anything else. So it's pretty sense. funny. That's pretty funny. Got the LEDs. See the steering stabilizer. A stock diffs. Are, are those uh, re-geared? Those are re-geared, the 488s. Uh, it has RCV chromoly axles, front and rear. Uh, it's got pretty much all the upgrades that you would need to kind of strengthen everything up. Uh, ring and pinion are from Nitro, so yeah, it works out pretty well. Let's take a look at the interior, man. What you got in here? Ooh, look at that. That's not stock. That's not factory. Yeah, so these are uh, Reparos from a, uh, from a, again, from the tuner days. Uh, yeah, it looks like tuner stuff. From the uh, Euro R Accord. So it's a JDM seat that we kind of grabbed it in here and kind of made everything work. Um, in here, it's got the Delta center console also, so it's got my Switch Pros. Um, all of my charging and uh, my gauges for my boosties and my AFR meters. So, um, you have the yeah. CB yep, on there as well. CB radio. Try to keep everything in here pretty nice. And What's all this? Those are patches that I've collected through the years from various events that I've gone to. Or, That's awesome. Yeah. It's a pretty cool build, Doug. I feel like what you did is you mixed the, your JDM past, right? Uh, with the off-roading uh, part of it. So it's kind of your truck. It's really unique, man. Yeah, That's a absolutely. really unique build. Really cool stuff over here. Yeah. Hey, Doug, thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, this, this was awesome. And yes, thanks sir. for rescuing everybody on the Colorado yeah, trip, by the way. For those, of you, for those of you guys who haven't watched the video, um, go back a few videos and you'll see my trip from Colorado. Obviously, um, I'm in the G-Wagon, but Doug here was ended up saving basically everybody else who broke down on the trip. It's all part of the service, I guess, when you go off-roading with Dougie's garage, right? So this is the shop area? Yeah, so this is basically our front desk area. This is where we'll come in, consult with our customers, and basically build invoices. This is Devin, our service advisor. Hey, Devin. Uh, Devin picks up the phones and he talks to him on the phone. And we have kind of a display of all of our most commonly used parts on wheels and suspension. And are those projects you guys completed? Yeah, so that's a, a feed from our Instagram and uh, check us out at Demi's Garage. Uh, we've got a ton of kind of really cool content on there, cars that we've worked on and also trips, uh, pictures from our trip to Colorado. Okay, awesome. Like a cool, fun place to work at. With that, I'm out. I'll see you guys next video.